Previously, on the quarry. So, all that stuff back there. Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Should we look? Doing the same bad mistake. What the fuck is that? It's the Windigo! It's the Windigo! Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. A female in need, fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be the summer. Are you fucking serious? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. We gotta help her. Please! Nick! Help him! Get the fuck off of him! Stop! Stop! I'll see! Uh. Ah! Oh, what the f <laughs> What the fuck? It was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Jack, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because the teeth were on top of me, I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. No. Uh, oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Carterize it. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. What? We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit.
Hey! Got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Ryan! Give it to Caitlin. What if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run! Very brave. All right. So, uh... Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Let's leave a note. They'll catch up with us if they want to. Right now we gotta make sure Nick and Abby are okay. Nick's legs all sorts of fucked up. I don't know how we're gonna get him all the way back. I got it. Wheelbarrow. Thank you, wheelbarrow. All right, let's go. Oh my god. Only Abby's gonna be here. Oh, never mind. Well, I know where they are. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what, sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explore bending. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> Yo, I keep getting their names wrong. This chick is Emma. If I'm, if I'm, yeah, her name's Emma. Oh, I didn't know I can do this. Wow. That'd be cool if the, the map was even bigger. Yep, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob! <laughs> Jacob's dead body. <laughs> okay, I gotta make sure everybody, yeah, everybody's at the camp. The only one that's, oh my god. Emma's on the island, Jacob's dead, and these guys are at the camp. And I am freaking half naked, no towel, soaking wet on the island. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. Yo, she kind of... She kind of sounds like Kristen Bell. She, she really kind of sounds like Kristen Bell. 
No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. Where the hell do you think it goes? It only goes one place, man. To the sea. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the that? quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? It looked like a squirrel you know, when I was little, frog. I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative, by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Was that something in the background? I thought I saw something. Um, let's go up. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. that Splinter doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Hello? Jacob? <laughs> He's still floating down there? Yo, man. She's gonna feel really bad about talking shit about Jacob. After she finds out, after she finds out that he died. Yeah, that's, I wanted to visit that place. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby. But these views, oh man, you're going to blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which... I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Thank Watching you! Them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. See, I like this girl. She gets it. She she totally gets it. She she set him up. 
Like, and they fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. There's even a ladder here so oh wow so it got here no matter what oh look car keys police car keys i think this may be one of those i'm sorry off these keys used to belong to north kill police department they were doing all the all here Sir, I have no idea what you're talking about situations, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. Shit, I, I would take them. And here we are, as promised. One extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Don't fall. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no great answers. Let's Bag not it do is. That. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, maybe I should open the trap door. It was probably nothing, anyways. Okay, so I think there's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump. I can promise you that much <sighs> Goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore What the f <laughs> um That's probably better. Oh god. Okay, pay attention time. I probably sh Why did you open that shit up, girl? Zip line. Thank you. Zip line. Oh god. Keep going. He's probably unaffected by it by now. Like when I sprayed him, it kind of looked like he didn't, he didn't get really much affected by it. Oh my God. Go up. Yes. Keep 
got it. Oh shit! Why do I always do the wrong things? I want her to survive! Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just. I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. Strength. Oh, strength. Give me that. Strength, strength can be surprising knowing one's own raw power, tapping into previous unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with one hand, and with the other it could rip away. Hmm. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. Yes, there is. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. Oh I no. Know. I really don't think that whatever attacked that. them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. Yes. Close the it's door while you're at this place too. so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I I I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Take the gun. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? Take we gotta call the for gun. Help. Who should I call? Nine one one. Mr. H. Duh. Jeez. The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then ninety one one. You mean nine one one? Who says ninety one one? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police, ambulance? Huh. Just, yeah, just call the cops, man. Cops. With guns, we need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are, so it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now, and we really need backup. You don't have to be an asshole, Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> Okay. 
just explain the situation. They're probably most likely to send an ambulance or something. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, Dylan, so this phone's Channel a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. What? Um. Gotta calm down. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, sounds better. It okay. Sounds better. Just careful with it. I'll be fine. Wanna hand me some shells? Okay. Uh, it's it's probably the weather. <laughs> what weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. <laughs> the, the weather. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. Yeah, For we should probably leave that with Caitlin. For real? Yeah. Give her your gun. They both sound so stupid. Like, of course she needs it. She's got... She's got people to defend. And if I say give her your gun... This guy's totally in love with this dude. <laughs> well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. Man. You don't know that. Okay, I might be an amazing shot. I might be. Just give her your gun. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, dude. Just give her your gun. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? Whoa, I love your hair. Oh wait, never mind. That was just the darkness that was covering it up. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Oh, here we go. We're back with Emma. Yo, can I zip line off of that top thing? I can! 
Okay, that's what I that's what I remember seeing on the map. Oh my god, it's right in the middle. Come on. Speed up. I'm not gonna speed up. Oh god, I should have sped up. Oh shit. Emma, you beast. Oh shit. Okay, they can't swim. Thank God. Holy shit, man. These things are legit oh, windigos. Good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> A time again, is it? Strength. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Why is that even a question, man? So, honestly. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Yo, Remember man, who your friends really are. Remember who's looking out for you. They really got them uh, premonitions on point. 